whose government rules Karnataka will now be decided by Governor Vajubhai Wala. The BJP undoubtedly won the largest number of seats at 104, but was stunned as a post-poll alliance among the Congress, the Godas, JDS and independent MLAs did rounds, all joining ranks to stop the Narain Modi Amit Shah juggernaut from invading the South. In a sudden change of events, the Congress party is believed to have deployed helicopters in Bidar and Kalaburgi to trace its 16 MLAs who are not in touch with the party leadership. Moreover, two of JDS MLAs are also reported to be missing from the JDS Legislative Party meet underway at hotel in Bengaluru. BJP's chief ministerial candidate B.S. Yadirappa has been elected as the Legislative Party leader soon after his election. Speaking to the media shortly after, a confident BSY said, I will take oath tomorrow. Congress and JDS have agreed on appointing H.D. Kumar Swami as chief minister in the coalition government they seek to form. Kumar Swami has stated that they have already decided to go with Congress. That's the reason they called JDS Legislature Party meeting and that there is no question of taking any other decision. Asserting that people have voted for a Congress Mukt Karnataka, BJP President Amit Shah has bullishly claimed that his party's winning streak will now continue on and it will win all polls including the 2019 Lok Sabha election. Repolling is being held today in 568 polling booths across 19 of the 20 West Bengal districts for the Panchayati Raj institutions that went to the polls on May 14. The single-phase rural polls in the state on May 14 saw large-scale violence and clashes between opposing political outfits throughout the day. A portion of an under-construction flyover near the railway station in Varanasi collapsed a day ago, killing at least 18 persons while more were feared trapped under the debris. It is said that the bridge collapsed because of improper construction of several pillars. A massive dust storm hit the national capital in the early hours today, the latest in a series of storms that have been lashing parts of the country. Some parts of the capital region also reported electricity cuts due to the weather. Chris Lynn, Dinesh Karthik and Kuldeep Yadav starred with the bat and ball for Kolkata Knight Riders as they defeated Rajasthan Royals by six wickets in the Indian Premier League at the Eden Gardens in Kolkata last night. With the win, KKR remains third in the points table with 14 points from 13 games and enhanced their chances of making it to the playoff. North Korea has cancelled a high-level meeting with South Korea and threatened to scrap a historic summit next month between President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un over military exercises between Seoul and Washington that Pyongyang has long claimed are invasion rehearsals.